hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video i'm just going to take you around a little bit and just give you a taste of home okay I was just having a little bit of difficulties with audio, so I'm taking it over with voiceover. So at this part right here, I'm just letting you guys know what I'm going to be showing you guys around the garden and how Auntie's flavors and the deliciousness has been coming together because she has some fresh things right on her very own backyard. So right here, she has the gungu peas. This is the gungu peas that I was showing you, but she has a couple of trees planted around, and I'm sure you saw it in the last video where she was picking them so this one right here is the sour orange tree she had a couple on there and she's been making fresh lemonades for us with these sour oranges and at the back there those long leaf ones at the very back there that is fever grass yes fever grass that one she makes tea with the fever grass she makes tea and as you can see on the other side of the back there, there's also more gungu peas. And we're now going to look at the very top there. Right there is the Aki tree. So that is the Aki tree, the Jamaican national dish, Aki and salt fish. And this one is green banana. This one is also green banana. You can see it right here. You can see it right here banana see that and I'm gonna show you the mango tree this one is the mango tree it's not mango season so yeah but this is the mango tree That one is red. Do you see it? Right there? Yeah. I see another one there. That's in it. So, uh, on this side, we have more bumbu peas on this side. And we have some sugar cane right here. Yeah. All the stuff uh, Auntie has in her backyard. Well, this is not really Auntie's backyard, but as you can see, sometimes when things spill over, we get some. <laughs> yeah, so this is more peas. And that's about it, guys. That's about it for Auntie's little garden tour. I'm going to take you guys along in another part of the tour. Maybe just show you guys around town when we are driving around. So you guys can get a, like, a sense of like that authenticness of Jamaica, you know, rather than just sitting around in a resort where we miss out on a lot of things. So far, I've been tasting authentic food. Everything has just been an amazing experience. So I will continue on this vlogging for you guys and show you more. I had forgotten two things. On this tree right here, she has sweet sub. I don't know if you can see that right there and she also has a scotch bonnet those were on the other side of the home hey guys so right now we are just heading over to Fontana's apparently it's a Christmas store that has a lot of Christmas stuff so I'm gonna take you guys in there so you guys can see how you can shop as well for Christmas in Jamaica okay guys One thing I've noticed about the city, whether it's morning or night, whatever time of day it is, that everything, the people is always bustling. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, there's no, like, sleep zone where everything kind of, like, shuts down gently. But it's kind of, like, always, like, on that level of, like, liveliness. Oh, and driving here is literally a next level. You can't be, like, a okay your turn to have a wait you literally gotta make room for yourself when you're driving driving here is next level if you are enjoying my content here hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing i do have a lot more vlog for this christmas that i will be sharing with you while i'm still here in jamaica 
It's like the Christmas. Ooh. Say hi, Lisa. <laughs> So if you want to know the comparison kind of like of this store what it was like it was more so like shoppers combined with michael's this is shoppers in canada combined with michael's it had two levels and it had like the upstairs level was more so like the michael vibes that has all those other stuff as well as like a little bit of like um home decor stuff like you would get that sense of like hobby lobby or like bath and bodies like different sections so it had like a little bit of everything and because of the christmas holiday season it had a lot more stuff I found my section with the Christmas picks and these are the ones that I use to make that centerpiece. If you haven't seen that centerpiece um, video that I did, I will leave the link in the description of the centerpiece video so that you can see that you, how you can make a DIY with some of these things and make a lovely centerpiece for yourself in the theme that you have going on in the home. Look at all these colors. They have like silver, gold, grays, and like you can customize this to your liking. And this section here is the ornament section. Again, it goes on with the ribbons. You have options. When we finished at this Christmas store, literally next door to our, that store was Starbucks coffee. And of course I had to take the opportunity to go in and check it out. Cause you know how sometimes they say like uh, the same brands in different countries taste different. So I thought I'd go in and give it a shot. And this is some of the stuff that they had pretty similar to what we had. And they had some of these drinks as well. So I ordered a mango a dragon fruit frozen. Uh, same taste, similar, nothing different. And of course, they do write your name on your order as well. So after that, we will head on home. We finished for the day. We did stop by for fast food because uh, we didn't have that dinner on our way back. We stopped by Island Grid, but that was about it. I didn't have any footage for that. I only had a short for it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.